Uh, welcome to uh, MIS 5375. Uh, this is an intro uh, video for this course. Uh, if you go to the student preview, uh, so if you go to the uh, course shell on Blackboard, you're going to see what I'm seeing here on the screen. This is the student preview, so I have that mode on. So if you go to course home, you're going to get this message and then a link. If you click on this link, you're going to be taken to this web page, which you can access directly even without accessing Blackboard. I don't recommend doing that uh, unless you need to do it because uh, I will be, uh, I w I, there will be uh, materials on Blackboard that will also be useful for this course. So this is the main uh, course website. You have a few links here, my webpage, two intro videos. First one is more professional. It's prepared, has been prepared by the university uh, as a public relation office, so it's it's a cool video. Uh, then you have the syllabus. I strongly recommend you read it very carefully. I'll let I'll let you read it. You have to read it very carefully. Uh, it talks about learning objectives, course objectives, the textbook, which is available online for you free software manual also available free online and then you have these individual class assi assignments uh, these are the key to get an A in this course so students must individually complete an analysis of each lecture related sample data set with WAR PLS that's the software we're going to be using for this course students must individually submit their PRJ file generated by the software and a PNG file which is Will, will be a screenshot of the student's model graph with results as attachments, plus a commentary on the body of their post. Commentary should be 250 words uh, in length uh, or more, but no more than a thousand words. Uh, you are dis you're, f you're free to decide what you will discuss in your commentary, for example, you could discuss how a particular organization could use a similar type of analysis, an organization that you're familiar with or one that you uh, think of, um, uh, study, uh, have friends working for, have relatives working for. This should be done by 1 p.m. on Friday of the week of the vigil lecture. And we have seven, uh, six of these assignments. So if you complete them by 1 p.m. of the Friday of the, of the week they are due, you're done with that. And it's very hard not to get the full grade because you just do the PRJ file, you, you do the PNG, PNG file, and you do your commentary. The commentary, there's no right or wrong uh, answer. Just don't use AI to generate the commentary. Um, and don't write nonsense, right? And don't copy and paste from uh, the from the web. It has to be done by you. The midterm and final, I I am. It is quite possible that I will waive those, particularly if the class is doing well with the assignments, because I will have enough uh, from the assignments to give grades to the students. University rules and, and regulations, this is boilerplate uh, text that we receive from the university to share with you. Then you go beyond that. Uh, then you get to the course schedule. So the first week, the week beginning on March the 18th, you have course review, read the course syllabus carefully, read the textbook carefully. Review the instructor's videos with course status, questions and answers. So these will be here uh, on the uh, web page for the course. Uh, then the following week, we have module two. So you'll go through a video lecture and the, the video lecture will, top, uh, will cover all of these topics and then 
you you review the my, my videos with course status questions and answers and then you submit uh, your uh, assignment materials by 1 p.m. on Friday <coughs> so for that week you will use this data set here increasing SAT scores in a US state uh, you will follow this video here increasing SAT scores in a US state and I have seven weeks for seven weeks uh, seven hits for seven weeks you don't have to watch these if you don't want to but these are my homage to creativity and my message art is relevant always um, okay Uh, what else do I want to cover? Oh, this. So, um, the textbook for this course is basically here, right? So, it's it's provided online. So, read this textbook very carefully. The software that we'll be using for this class is Warp PLS. Here's the manual. The manual is available. And the videos that you'll be using in this course, they they are all done using Warp PLS. So you will see how Warp PLS is used. Now Warp PLS is available from this link and also from the virtual desktop. If you want to get it from this link, you go to download free trial. And since I assume you're not current uh, Warp PLS users, you will use one of these links here Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, or Southern USA to download the software. Now, once you download the software, you can use it through the uh, trial period, which is 90 days, so it's enough for this course. Or alternatively, you go to Module 1, Module 1 will have, will cover general issues. So, alternatively, you can just use this license here uh, to license the software on your computers from the period going from March to July 2024. Um, now, if you use it on the virtual desktop of TAMU, you will not have to install the software on your computers. You can just use it uh, using your browser on the virtual desktop. Um, if you have IT problems including using Warp PLS on time use uh, virtual desktops please contact Juan Ramirez. Here's the phone number and the email. So as you can see, a lot is likely very uh, a, a lot is covered in this course, but it's very simple to get an A in this course. There is no trick here. If you do all of the assignments uh, and submit them by the deadline, you're going to get an A in this course. In fact, I don't expect uh, many students to get less than an A. Uh, if everybody does that, uh, everybody gets an A. I expect to have A's and B's in this course because it's likely that the students will miss the deadlines. Um, if uh, too many people miss the deadlines, uh, then um, uh, there will be, then I'll probably have the midterm and final. Otherwise, I will not have the midterm final because each assignment is a little bit like a midterm and a final. Uh, one important warning so when you it will be the assignments will be modules 2 and uh, and the other modules right until module 7 so let's take one of the modules so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click here and then you're gonna just reply to this main message with your files right the PRJ file generated by Warp PLS this PRJ file has a signature that identifies each file as a unique file. So if you 
decide to cheat and use somebody else's PRJ file and submit it, you will be clear that you cheated and you're going to get an, a zero in the course and an, an F in the course and I will uh, report you to the student conduct for expulsion. Uh, but nobody will do that, obviously, so we don't have to worry about that. So you're going to reply to this and attach your PhD file. You will probably have to reply to your reply if you cannot attach two files in this version of Blackboard. So you may have to reply to your reply and attach your PNG file with your screenshot. And you will also include your commentary on the body of your reply. And again, it has to be 250 to 1,000 words. If you write too many, like 2,000, you're not going to be doing what I'm asking you to do. If you write too few words, like fewer than 250, you're not going to be doing what I'm asking you to do, and uh, your grade may go down from an A to a B or, or lower if you, if you do that. So the only way you're going to get less than an A in this course is if you don't do what I'm asking you to do in the syllabus. So again, welcome to this course. And uh, I will be interacting with you uh, through these videos. I do all of the interaction through videos, um, or as much as the interaction I can do through videos, because I subscribe to Media Naturalist Theory. So, thank you for watching and I look forward to interacting with you more during this course.